Good afternoon, my name is Justin Calderon. I am discussing for group two. I will be discussing about ballistic movements and just how just kind of go over them a little bit on my perspective on things. I'm growing up playing baseball my whole life and seeing other kids play baseball around me and teach kids from deep, different ages the different techniques that are used to be a really good baseball player. You notice the younger ones have a hard time mechanically processing all the different movements. So you could tell an 18 year old baseball player to run as fast as he can, do a crow hop and then throw. And he may do it as efficiently as he possibly can. Maybe he'll slip a step or maybe he won't throw the ball as hard as he possibly could. And with somebody who's a lot younger, you can see that, you know, that that gap in just how developed a player can be. You ask the kid to go run and throw, and he may run full speed and then slow down a little bit and then throw the ball. Or he may run full speed and then completely stop and then step and then throw, you know. So there's a lot of uh, confidence and just overall muscle memory of, of practicing it over and over again. Somebody who is a lot older has done all of that practicing, their repetitiveness and and just perfecting their skills. When talking about in terms of mechanics and throwing and looking back on the chapter, you know, we, we see a certain mechanics with an early thrower, they you know, as 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 an infant, let's say maybe four years old, they they're not gonna do much to to throw the ball, they're gonna just kind of stand there and wheel the ball back and throw it over their head, and the ball probably go for it five yards at, at most, and they're not gonna get the most out of everything. Even but even then, like a little child, let's say they were to do all the correct mechanics and do a step with like a trunk rotating twist and everything like that, they they're not gonna have much power input into their throw, so. You're still not going to get much of, of a result, but as far as mechanics, the older proficient throwers are the ones who do the certain steps that we've done over and over and over again. That's, that's just part of our natural movement now, is taking a step with the opposite foot. You know, some people may throw with the same foot and the same hand, and they think that that seems right, but it's not right. It, it it's, You're not generating any power or anything like that at all. So, so looking at this chapter, I, I kind of get a little excited with you know, how this pertains to my future job in the in the four first. So, I want to be an occupational therapist, and a lot of problems I have, or a lot of patients that I would be dealing with as patient therapists are stroke patients and patients who just got out of surgery and they have really bad motor skills so a simple step of tossing a tennis ball into a, into a bucket in front of them may be extremely difficult to where at their age it should be a, an effortless task so this could help really get an idea of the developmental changes that you know you could probably do and maybe other techniques you could do to help get a person's range of motion back or their throwing power back or maybe just get their overall coordination back back into check you can use this developmental process to help with that